<laughs> so wait, so can we talk about a little something uh, that happened recently in the Temecula thing? And this is not the, uh, an opinion of the Board of Realtors no. or anything like yeah. that. So we have to make that disclaimer. Yeah. But uh, last night, City Council in Temecula voted uh, basically to put a cease and desist mm -hmm. out in the next 30 days for any short-term rentals, meaning Airbnbs and all those kind of um, places. So, so l to set out the context of the argument between both parties, because I'm I'm a centrist, I like to look at both sides of things, pros and cons. So, some people are saying that having short-term rentals next to them as their neighbors or whatever kind of devalues, degrades, uh, brings in random people that you know they have no control over, and so the community outcry is that hey, we don't want short-term rentals in our local community because it just brings problems whereas if it's a neighbor that's been there for 20 years there's a certain sense of stability mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. on the other side of things you know with property rights you know you buy a real estate property and you should have that right to do whatever you want with that property without the government overreaching and interfering in that so there's these kind of two conflicting things but last night Temecula City Council decided no more Airbnbs yeah. Does anybody want to touch it with the 10-foot pole? Or <laughs> My sister is a widowed mom, mm -hmm. and uh, it's how she provides for her family, and she is disabled. So I think that that is probably sensitive to me personally mm -hmm. right. uh, because there's not a dad and there's three kids, and uh, when you can't go out and get another job, it is a source of income uh, that you know, she uses in a respectable manner, and she certainly isn't going to have someone in her house that is naughty, you right. know? Um, but I think it's a, I think that's a, that's a difficult one. And I'm not gonna say anything on the grounds that I may incriminate myself. <laughs> fair <laughs> enough, fair <laughs> enough. I know it is a public show here. <laughs> uh, but it's a, it's, a, it's a sticky, complex issue. It'll be interesting yeah. to watch what happens. I, I don't yeah. imagine that people that are owners are gonna just lie down and be quiet. Yeah. yeah. So, and then I know yeah. of surrounding cities we're watching to see what Temecula did, so. Yeah. You know, it'll be interesting to see how it. I think when on. they make those big decisions, it's hard to enforce something when you were allowed to purchase that house, you were allowed to conduct that business, and now you're taking something away. Yeah. yeah. Had the precedent been set before you spent five hundred, six hundred, seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, and a million dollars on a property with the intention to possibly do that, um, I think that. I think there might be a little backlash to it. Yeah, so I think there's no. going to be some unintended consequences, as they say. Yeah. So interesting to see how this all plays out. So yeah. uh, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh, you got any inside scoops? No. Oh, me neither. No. I'm sure I'll hear more, but no. Yeah. Just interesting to watch, see how it's going to play out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the politics. I've mm -hmm. done the Airbnb thing, not on my personal property, but mm -hmm. I've gone to an Airbnb, mm -hmm. and it's a wonderful experience. Absolutely mm -hmm. is. Um, mm -hmm. And so the political kind of buzz that people are talking about is that in this local area, we have wineries, we have pachanga. You know, they just opened up a whole new uh, thing of rooms. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so there's some wondering, wonderings yeah. happening if uh, yeah. maybe there was a lobby to put pressure. Yes. Because these hotels that are spending millions of dollars on their properties want that revenue and they don't want local people renting the house out so, yep so it's taken away lot, from their business a lot yeah. of layers to that onion there really is yeah. <laughs>